Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to the channel. Hope all of you are doing well. So as you all are aware that this time UKPSC is going to conduct the examinations based on the pattern of UPSC. So given that we will be preparing ourselves with the help of the previous questions of UPSC so that we are able to answer the questions that are asked in upper PCS, lower PCS as well as RO or ARO prelims examination. All right. So yesterday we had a class based on ancient history. Today we are going to cover 25 questions from physical geography. All right. So let's start. So the first question says, what is a meteor? Okay. So let's read the, uh, the options. A rapidly moving star. Obviously meteor is not a star. So this is wrong. A piece of matter which has entered the Earth's atmosphere from outer space. Yes, this could be the correct answer. But let's read the other options as well. Part of a constellation. Now, since it is not a star, so it is not all, it is not a part of the constellation. A comet without a tail. A comet is something different. Okay, it is another type of celestial body. Okay, so these all are or uh, <clears throat> the other options are wrong. So option number B is the correct answer. All right. Moving on to the next question. Which one of the following does not belong to the biosphere reserve setup so far? All right. So now this question has been asked in 1995, but now the status has changed. So this is no longer a valid question because all the four, Great Nicobar as well as the Nanda Devi and Sundarbans and Gulf, Gulf of Kutch, all these are biosphere reserves. All right. There are 18 biosphere reserves in India now. Now there's another question. In this, they are saying that the graph is showing the mean average monthly temperatures and mean monthly rainfall. All right. So temperature is, so for example, here, the line that is showing the temperature so the temperature is fluctuating like in january it is approximately 17 degrees then february approximately 20 march goes to 25 25 so <clears throat> this is uh, showing a peak at 25 and above 25 so that is happening in september all right and the other thing is happening during march and april all right so this is the temperature peak and rainfall peak is being shown in the month of may all right so this kind of a feature is basically present in wet and dry tropical. All right. Why am I saying so? Because see, the rainfall is uh, not exceeding 25 centimeters. First of all, <clears throat> as you can see out here, okay, for the rainfall, the graph is here. So <clears throat> what is happening is that No, see, the rainfall is approximately 30, if you see. So, it is going up to 30 centimeters. And the temperature is not exceeding 25 or up to 27. So, we can say that this is the situation. So, what exactly is it depicting? Is it wet and dry tropical? Is it rainy tropical? Is it semi-arid tropical? Or is it temperate marine? So, the most appropriate answer out of these will be option number A, wet and dry tropical. Why is it so? Because the rainfall is not exceeding 30 centimeters approximately. And also... It is showing a tropical sort of a uh, region <clears throat> because of the high temperatures. All right. Now, another question is, what is Willy Willy? Okay. So, Willy Willy is basically a tropical cyclone. And this is what we call the cyclones in Australia. Okay. So, option number C will be the correct answer for this. Because Willy Willy, they are originating in the Timor Sea, which is actually surrounding Australia and this causes rainfall in different parts of Australia all right to be precise it is the cyclone which is affecting the northwestern part of Australia next question is which of the following is the continent with the highest mean elevation in the world so the correct answer for this is Antarctica it has the highest mean elevation in the world out of all the continents all right and Next question is, which of the following layers of the atmosphere is responsible for deflection of radio waves? So, it is the ionosphere, which is actually responsible for the deflection. And it is <coughs> because of the presence of ionosphere that we are able to use the radio waves, which are basically used for communication and satellite communication and other things. All right. So, it is the ionosphere which makes all these communications possible. All right. Next question is, there are two sentences given. First of all, assertion has been mentioned. It says, areas near the equator receive rainfall throughout the year. Okay, this is correct. Next reason is stating that high temperatures and high humidity cause conventional rain in most afternoons near the equator. So this is also correct. And this is actually the explanation for this assertion. Okay, so that makes the answer as option number A, both assertion and reason are true. And reason is the correct explanation for the assertion. All right. Now, let's, let's move on to the next question. 
it states that mangroves are very specialized forest ecosystems of tropical and subtropical regions bordering certain sea coasts all right this is correct they stabilize the shoreline and act as bulwark against encroachments by the sea this is also correct okay so mangroves are basically <clears throat> an ecotone for example see suppose here the water is there all right and here the forests are there so in between there is this area and this is the mangrove region so it is acting as a ecotone between the water and the forest region all right so it is also acting as a uh, stabilizing the shoreline so water coming from here is not able to impact that much over the land surface because in between there is these mangroves are there okay so both the options are correct and reason is the correct explanation for the assertions option number a is the correct answer for this diamond ring is a phenomena observed okay so diamond ring, uh, ring phenomena is basically observed only in the peripheral regions of the totality trail okay this happens during the solar eclipse so what happens is around the sun so when there is a peripheral region or the outside region of that is showing the phenomena of diamond ring all right so option number c is the correct answer for this next question is which of the following factors is responsible for the change in the regular direction of the ocean currents in the indian ocean so as you are aware that this is the indian subcontinent and here the oceans are there so there is always a change in the direction of the ocean currents why is it happening because indian ocean has a monsoon drift okay so indian ocean mein there is this monsoon drift which is actually causing the reversal in the regular direction of the ocean currents all right so next is the daily weather map showing isobars is an example of so isobars means iso means same bars means it is depicting the same pressure so the regions showing the same pressure they are connected with the help of isobars what is it called so the scientific term for this is isopleth okay you have to learn this that isopleth map is isobar is basically an isopleth map so what we can remember is that iso iso meaning same so since it is showing the same similarities between two regions having the same pressure so it is a kind of an isopleth map all right next question is the new group of uh, the group of small rocks of rock small pieces of rock revolving around the sun between the orbits of mars and jupiter so between mars and jupiter's orbit there are always asteroids present so option number d is the correct answer for this all right next is if the earth's direction of rotation is reversed what should be the ist when it is known at the international dateline now we all are aware that at present india is 5 and 1/2 degrees or uh, sorry india is 5 and 1/2 hours ahead of the international dateline but what is stated is that if the rotation of the earth is reversed okay so as a result what happens is that <coughs> now uh, since at the present time india is ahead so if the direction of rotation is re reversed india will be before or you can say the timing will be uh, if there is noon at the international dateline which means that it is 12 o'clock at the ist so in india the time would be before that okay now out of these four options only two options are showing time before 12 noon all right so it could either be 6:30 hours or it could be 5:30 hours now since there was a time lag of 5 and 1/2 hours so if we reduce 5 and 1/2 from 12 so that results in the correct answer being 6:30 because if you add 5:30 and 6:30 it becomes 12 all right so the correct answer will be option number a next question is which one of the following stars is nearest to the earth now this is to confuse you because if we see then sun is also a star and that is the closest to earth because it is a part of the solar system so the correct option would be sun if sun would have not been given then the correct answer would have been alpha centauri all right which one of the following conditions is most relevant for the presence of life on earth or uh, on mars all right so as you are aware that occurrence of ice caps and frozen water this has been seen and even indian uh, mars mission this was actually discovered so option number c is the correct answer for this question next question is consider the following maps of the four shaded areas on the map which is characterized by hot dry summers mild and moist winters and seasonal reversal of winds now the, with the term seasonal reversal of winds we come to the conclusion that okay this is showing a monsoon kind of a climate okay now since india is not one of the options that is there so now the question comes whether it is the part of north america whether it is a part of south america whether it is a part of africa or whether it is a part of australia now just imagine this situation that you are not aware of the correct answer so a way when uh, a way with, in which we can actually solve this question is that if you observe it closely then these three regions they are basically almost uh, 
at the same latitude okay so only one option is there which is at a different latitude if we see another con uh, another observation so monsoon is happening out here in the indian subcontinent and if we extrapolate the latitude of this area so it is closer to the option number 1 all right so uh, condition which is happening out here it is equally possible that it is happening out here also and since these three regions they are approximately at the same latitude so with the help of this we can draw the conclusion that option number 1 that is the region of usa would be the correct answer for this question all right <clears throat> and it is actually if you are aware of the features then it is the region of california and it shows hot dry summers mild and moist winters all right and also seasonal reversal of winds so option number 1 is the correct answer next question is asteroids are rocky debris of various size orbiting the sun all right this is correct most of the asteroids are small but some have diameter as large as 1000 km now suppose we are not aware of this fact okay so let us see the other option the orbit of asteroids lies between the orbits of jupiter and saturn is it right is it saturn no it is not saturn the correct option would be mars and jupiter all right so we are aware that the option number 3 is incorrect so as a result of this all these three options they we can negate these three options so the correct answer we come up to the conclusion that option number c is correct so as a result even if you are not aware of the facts whether the diameter is 1000 km or not so still we can come up to the correct answer all right next question is <coughs> name the uh, rivers labeled a b c d on the given map okay so this is the region showing the part of north america and just a part of south america the central region and also this so if you are aware then in these type of questions you cannot just uh, you know come up to certain conclusions until and unless you are sure about the locations so option number a is depicting river yukon okay option number b depicts river mackenzie option number c depicts river st lawrence and option number d is depicting river orinoco so the correct answer would be option number b all right why because as you can see a the correct answer will be 5 b 3 mackenzie c is river st lawrence that is option number 1 and d is orinoco that is option number 2 right so option b is the correct answer for this question now the correct sequence of different layers of the atmosphere from the surface of the earth upwards so first of all we have the troposphere then we have the stratosphere then we have the mesosphere and then we have the thermosphere which incorporates or includes the ionosphere so the correct answer would be option number c first we have troposphere then we have stratosphere then we have mesosphere and finally we have ionosphere all right question number 20 asteroids possess distinct blooms of excessive growth of a pigmented dinoflagellates these blooms are called so the correct answer is option number a red tides okay and <clears throat> they are basically the algae which depict this color and therefore they are known as red tides all right uh, they could be algae also they can be dinoflagellates also now next question is consider the following climatic conditions northern hemisphere mein so we've been given the temperature range and also the rainfall now we have to identify what kind of a natural region shows this so as you can see the highest temperature is shown during july and august all right uh, highest rainfall is during july and rainfall is fluctuating from 3.5 to up to 17.7 cm temperatures are lowest during january so if we are aware then we can analyze this type of questions and we come up to the conclusion that okay this kind of um, feature of temperature and rainfall is shown by china type of climate okay now even if you are not aware then we can come up to the correct answer by the technique of elimination now if it would have been equatorial type of climate there would have been high temp high rainfall throughout the year so ye equatorial to nahi ho sakta similarly agar ye monsoon type hota तो यहाँ पर क्या होता कि आपका ठीक है रेनफॉल वुड हैव बीन हाई ड्यूरिंग द मॉनसून सीजन एंड टेम्परेचर वुड हैव बीन द हाईएस्ट ड्यूरिंग द समर्स तो वो भी नहीं दिख रहा है यहाँ पर हॉट डेजर्ट टाइप में तो आपको इतनी रेनफॉल दिखाता नहीं पहली बात और राइट एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट ऑल्सो द टेम्परेचर्स वुड हैव बीन हायर एंड इतना ज्यादा दे वुड हैव नॉट बीन दिस हाई एनुअल रेंज 
ऑफ टेम्परेचर मतलब इतना ज़्यादा फ्लक्चुएशन नहीं होता टेम्परेचर्स के बीच में सो so, ये थ्री ऑप्शन अगर नहीं आंसर तो करेक्ट आंसर ऑब्वियसली चाइना टाइप दी करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन नंबर ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू तो मैच दो फॉलोइंग है स्मॉलेस्ट प्लानट ओके उस टाइम पे क्या था जब भी क्वेश्चन पूछा था प्लूटो वॉज कंसिडर्ड अ प्लानट सो प्लूटो हो जाता लार्जेस्ट प्लानट ऑफ द सोलर सिस्टम जुपिटर प्लानट सेकेंड फ्रॉम द सन इन द सोलर सिस्टम वीनस एंड प्लानट नियरेस्ट टू द सन इज मर्करी सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर डी ऑल राइट ए का फोर बी का थ्री सी का टू डी का वन ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फिजिकल रीजन मार्क वन टू थ्री फोर आर गिवन ऑन द मैप एंड वॉट आर दे रिप्रेजेंटिंग तो देखिए वन जो है ये यहाँ से यहाँ तक आपका एंडीज डिपेक्ट कर रहा है ऑल राइट देन वी हैव ऑप्शन नंबर टू तो ऑप्शन नंबर टू में आपका क्योंकि ब्राजील का पार्ट कवर हो रहा है तो ऑब्वियसली दिस इज द ब्राजीलियन हाईलैंड देन थर्ड वाला जो रीजन है दैट इज गुआना आई हाईलैंड एंड फाइनली फोर्थ वाला जो आपका है दैट इज एमेजोन बेसन सो ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस ऑल राइट नाउ इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग टाइप ऑफ कोल कंटेन्स अयर परसेंटेज ऑफ कार्बन दैन द रेस्ट तो अगर आपको पता होगा तो एंथ्रासाइड जो है उसमें सबसे ज्यादा कार्बन होता है आउट ऑफ दिस नाइनटी वन परसेंट कार्बन होता है एंथ्रासाइड में और इसी वजह से ये बहुत ज्यादा वॉलेटाइल होता है और लीस्ट स्मोक जनरेट करता है क्योंकि कार्बन कंटेंट लेस सॉरी जो कार्बन कंटेंट है वो हाई होता है ऑल राइट right? यानी जो आपकी इंप्योरिटीज हैं वो लेस होंगी इसमें एंड एज रिजल्ट स्मोक जो है वो लेस होती है नेक्स्ट जो होता है आपका क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर द डे इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्कॉलर्स सजेस्टेड द अर्थ ओरिजिन फ्रॉम गैसेज एंड डस्ट पार्टिकल्स तो ये जो थ्योरी है ये है आपकी इंटर स्टेलर डस्ट हाइपोथीसिस वॉट डज इट से इट स्टेट दैट द अर्थ हैज ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम गैसेज एंड डस्ट पार्टिकल्स तो कौन सी हाइपोथीसिस है इंटर स्टेलर डस्ट हाइपोथीसिस और ये किसने दी थी तो ओ स्मिथ ने ये थ्योरी दी थी एंड दिस इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द ओरिजिन ऑफ द अर्थ एंड द सोलर सिस्टम ऑल राइट होप द ऑल दिस इज क्लियर टू यू एंड वील बी कवरिंग अदर सब्जेक्ट्स एज वेल तो देखिए इस तरीके से प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन को करते जाओ बहुत सारे कॉन्सेप्ट भी क्लियर हो जाते हैं बहुत सारे डाउट्स भी क्लियर हो जाते हैं कई सारे क्वेश्चन रिपीट होने की पॉसिबिलिटी भी रहती है तो आप को एक एज मिल जाएगा इसका as compared to the other students so keep practicing these previous your questions and always remember that whatever exam you are preparing for you can do it that's it for today we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye and take care